Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 14 of season 7 of my Alpha 17 experimental let's play. Oh my goodness, it's Horde Night. <laughs> and um, I've been trying to get ready for it. Oh my gosh. Um, there's one quick little thing I want to do before we get started getting ready for the Horde Night. And uh, that was something that um, we started, we spent the point for last episode, but I never got a chance. Uh, the advanced engineering, we can now make cement mixers and start getting into cement. So um, I went ahead and I got all of the stuff that we need together to make the cement mixer. So how about that? Um, oh, and it needs to be made in the workbench, I believe. And there we have it. All the stuff we need right there. How about that? <laughs> um, looks like I misplaced this concrete mix as well. Um, I took one of the stacks of stone out of here and I put it and I made this other forge and I put that in there. Um, so let's get this puppy fired up again and let's go ahead and make the cement, make all that cement. It's not nice round numbers like I usually like, but it's just gonna have to do. Okay, um, we got our cement mixer going. It's gonna take another minute. I'm gonna put it right over here next to the forges. I got a little place ready for it. <laughs> and even to uh, room for another cement mixer if we need it. Uh, I've been making see that should that should be enough to get that dirt melted in there I've been making some steel because I want to make a shotgun but I don't know that we'll have all the stuff uh, the big thing is it takes like 50 steel holy cajoli <laughs> 50 steel let's look at what else we need um, Uh, 20 mechanical parts, 10 duct tape. Okay, it looks like the big thing here is going to be the 10 duct tape. Yeah, I don't have that, so we're going to have to make some. I also put uh, some sand into the forge and made up a little bit of glasses because I had used them all making up the water. Let's see. We want to make up the bottled murky water. So we can turn it into glue. Because for some reason the glue takes murky water and not bottled water. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, let's see. Is our cement mixer... Our cement mixer is ready. Oh, yeah. Boom. That's the stuff. Now we can start. Um, I already used some of the cement that we looted. I mean, the concrete mix. And I went down and I upgraded all of our <laughs> pillars on the, uh, on the cage. Because uh, these are our support structures and... Yeah, I wanted those done first and I upgraded the middle row to iron bars. Oh, that took so much metal, but um, we had it, so I used it. Oh, man. We're going to have to start getting ready. All right, that got all of the 
we might need some more dirt in there. We only have like 530. Or, let's just throw some more in there. Oh man. I went to that house that we passed on the way back uh, from the buried treasure the other day. And I dug up a lot of that dirt. Look at my shovel. My poor, poor shovel. <laughs> I did all of that at the place because when I went, when I was going down to that room, I was getting very little dirt because there's four, four things of rock I have to clear out for one thing of dirt. And I was just like, oh, and then some of the dirt was gravel, so that was no good. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I need to get a little bit of cloth to make this into duct tape. There we go. One more. There we go. All right, um, now we needed the, can we see it from here? Yeah, let's go ahead and favorite that. There we go. Now we should be able to see it all the time. 20 mechanical parts, 10 plastic, 10 springs. We can totally do that. I think it was uh, 10 plastic. Oh man, I'm so excited to get a shotgun. This is gonna take like six minutes. Oh my gosh. Holy cazoli. <laughs> That's a long time, so we're probably not gonna have it for the horde. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, getting all of our ammo's out here. Do we have any extra? We don't have any extra iron arrows, so we might want to make... Look at that. I have very little gunpowder. Um, oh, man. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that if I don't have to. I don't want to make that until I get a chemistry station. You know, we have a little bit of 44 rounds, but I don't believe we have any ammo for that. And we can make steel. Can we make steel arrowheads? We can, and it requires the crucible. So what's the difference? This takes five iron and one clay. This takes two iron and one clay. We only have 1,800 uh, iron left, so we might want to stick to our iron arrowheads for now. And then after the horde, go ahead and uh, convert over to our steel arrowheads. Steel arrowheads. <sighs> yeah, so we'll just make up a hundred because that'll put us around 250 iron arrows. That should be good. Awesome. Okay, so we got our ammo out. Let's get our weapons. We're going to get the AK-47. We haven't really gotten, like, gosh. Uh, we haven't really gotten a submachine gun. Oh, dude. I got a screamer this morning. And, oh. It spawned like a, a feral zombie. 
That was the first, that's the first feral I've seen. I knew it was a feral. Uh, it was during the day, so I couldn't tell because it wasn't, it wasn't like running or anything. But I could tell it was a feral because it was taking so much, so many arrows to kill it. And then when I killed it, it gave me 770 experience instead of the, the 550 or the 605. So, yeah. I feel like I'm not prepared for this again. Um, I've been trying to lay down traps in strategic places to uh, deter the zombies from going certain ways. Uh, and hopefully we're gonna get all of our actually <laughs> in the off chance that something happens let's leave some medical supplies in there wonder what what does the vitamins do it gives us stamina a second and healing a second and it gives us agility fortitude and strength I wish it would say like how long that buff lasted. Maybe we'll try one of those tonight because that gives, no, that doesn't give perception. So eh, that would kind of be wasted. Maybe we'll take it with us um, on, on our next adventure. When we're going to be meleeing, because that looks like something that you would you know, do right before you start walloping some zombers. All right. Um, we're not going to need the shovel or the axe. We're going to keep the hammer. Probably not going to need the pickaxe. So let's go ahead and put these away. We're going to keep that on us. Um, probably not going to need the mini bike as well. Or the wrench. Or I suppose all of this wood. I'm probably, um, probably not going to need this metal. I like to keep the hunting knife on me. I don't know why. I don't really know why. Um, there's a screamer out there. So... I feel like I don't have enough ammo, but now we can start making our own ammo. Um, we have the recipes for it, but we don't have the gunpowder. So we might look at start, um, because usually when the trader has uh, gunpowder, go. let's go ahead and get those going. Usually when he has uh, gunpowder, it's pretty cheap so we want to keep an eye out for that yeah I know we're gonna go take care of that um she probably just killed herself honestly because oh there she is oh she saw me what a little punk okay Oh, and I don't have my hammer. Stupid Sombert. Okay. Where we got the guys come? Of course, coming from the place where I don't have a ranch. <laughs> oh! I looked up and thought there was a zombie there. Holy cow. And it scared the bejeebus out of me. But there actually wasn't a zombie there. Oh my god. There's another screamer over there. Now is... Before... I was killing these guys with one shot and now they're like superheroes and it takes three. Where are you at? Where are you at? I hear you. I think some 
somebody just, oh, there you are. I don't know why I'm shooting these guys. I shouldn't be. I've done a little bit of work to try and get them. Oh, look at this. I got a messed up block here. Look. Uh, it wasn't like this before. Oh, dude. Seriously. So hard to click on those. They already destroyed one of these. Look at this. I can't, For some reason... I went through and I upgraded this, so was, I upgraded this block and everything was fine and then when I came around, <laughs> look, it's fine on this side, but these two blocks are invisible and I can set something on it and then you can see the block just fine. But as soon as I take it away, boink, it goes back. <laughs> so, I don't know. There's something wrong with that. I also, I'm trying to encourage those zombies to walk down here. To get to the yummy, juicy um, iron bars on the inside. And these um, plain wooden blocks by upgrading the ones down the hallway. To hopefully deter them from breaking those to go to the middle and go to the inside. I'm, I'm going to do something with these after the horde to keep them from going for my ladders. Um, right now, the only thing I did was I removed this last rung. Uh, and hopefully that will <gasps> keep them from... Oh, look at that. Somebody uh, damaged my thing. Uh, yeah, we won't worry about that right now. But hopefully that will help them make better decisions <laughs> about life and come down our hallway. I put some barbed wire down these. That's all I could afford because it's like a thousand metal to fill up one of these, or uh, one side, I should say. So I have one side done. All the other sides aren't done. Um, but I put spikes in the corners here because they seem to like um, busting through the wall here to get in and I don't want them to do that. I want them to come around so that uh, once I get the barbed wire in they'll be slowed and I can I can shoot them easier. Uh, so I put uh, traps there and I put traps all along here to help keep them from you know pounding on these walls and just come in hopefully that's the plan anyway um, and hopefully that will um, also preserve our inner circle a little bit better so like zombies won't just come down and break our spikes it'll take them a while maybe I'll get uh, have more time to come up and deal with them before they actually get to the inner part so we won't have to worry about that awesome so uh, we got we got our iron arrows made we have our ammo our gun we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab we looted some of these repair kits I kept forgetting about them and I kept making them to repair my chainsaw so I took some of them over and I put them over here in this uh, chest where I normally keep my chainsaw which I am using the crap out of by the way to, to harvest all my trees now um, All right, we have our medical supplies. We have our guns and ammo. We've put all our unnecessary stuff and things away. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better about the food. I made up, I made up a couple of meat stew. And look at this. This is gonna be awesome because this is the meat stew 
we won't need to carry around drink because that's going to give us water as well so it's just like drinking the water and eating the food at the same time so this is about the same stamina and health as our steak and potatoes well you get two more stamina from that but you get the water as well because this has fat and this one has water uh, well in the recipe this takes um, meat potatoes and fat this takes meat potatoes corn and water so it's nice that you get that water on there as well so when we're out and about we can take these meat stew and and not have to take the water with us which will cut down on one slot which will be awesome so there we go um what is our food and drink look we shouldn't need to eat until yeah until our food gets to 100 because this adds almost 50 so we don't want to waste any of that so we'll wait until it uh gets down to 100 awesome i'm so nervous i i never know how this is gonna go um so we have a repair kit on us i'm tempted to go ahead and repair this assault rifle up so we have almost 300 rounds and I'm pretty certain that that's not going to be enough to go through that many rounds. Let's see. Oh, wow. And that that didn't even repair it all the way to full. Wow, we can zowie. All right, let's get another one. Um... Let's check on our shotgun. <gasps> there it is it's beautiful and I think I had something in here so let's pull this out the foregrip I bought that so let's put this over here this will be our backup stuff this is where I put all my old ones my old tools and stuff just in case there we go and now we can actually look at I think there were so oh this is for armor the noise reduction and I found that you cannot put a noise reduction in armor that has a fitting in it so you can either get the movement penalty reduced or the noise reduction you can't have both so that that kind of stinks but that's that's how it works uh, or, <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to work like that, but, uh, so there we have, uh, because I tried to put it in one of our leather pieces of armor and it wouldn't go. We have all our little fittings in there. I put, I uh, put, I went ahead and made up the one we had the schematic for and put it in the mining helmet, because why not? We have, like, all of these free slots in there. We still got like an empty one. I went ahead and put the cooling and the heating mesh in there. That's gonna give us five more cold resist and hopefully that's enough uh, to make up for not having our little beanie on. So we're gonna go ahead and put that foregrip in there. Look at that, that gives us 25% more weapon handling there, but it also increases our damage to 13. What else does it do? That's it. Okay. And I don't think we have any... We got this sawed-off shotgun, but I don't think... I'm not sure... That's tier two. We don't need the helmet light. Um, let's see, what does this take? See, this one only takes forged iron. I think that's um, 
a misprint or something that that's tier one. I think it's supposed to be tier two since the recipe requires steel. So either they haven't changed the recipe to reflect that it's a tier one and it's still in the, the code that it's a tier two and it just says on here it's tier one. Maybe they changed it. I don't know. Oh, let's, let's go ahead and check it because I have logged out and logged back in. So maybe now it still says I'm, I don't have that recipe. So I think that's supposed to be a tier two. So let's see if we, oh, it takes five glue. Oh. I guess we can go ahead and make it. Do we have time? Yeah, we got time. We got time. Um, what does this do? Does this... Increases projectile spread. But there's like... No... Um sawed off shotgun anymore is there so is this gonna make it like a sawed off shotgun it, so it would increase the spread of the the pellets um hmm Cause that might be that that takes looks that takes another five glue holy schmoly they're trying to kill me i swear um and i thought i had a lot of bones look at that um i've used so much uh making glue <laughs> i guess we can try it um i think because what I want to use the what what am I, what am I doing? Blah 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 blah. Where's the water? Put the wood in there. Gosh, I, I really hate it that it resets that. Okay. So that water's cooking. Um I did so like I said, I went back to that house that we drove by and it had a huge pile of dirt out front. It looked like they were doing some sort of um, work on the pipes on the house when the apocalypse happened. So they had a huge amount of dirt in front of the house. So I went over and I cleared that whole pile of dirt and I got like just over 2,000 dirt, maybe like 2,300. So I came back and I made the 81 dirt and I had maybe a thousand left and I've thrown most of that into the forge to melt down for clay and various stuff and things. Um, I don't even know, am I gonna have enough? Oh, we might need to start making some iron. Oh, wow, we can make a hundred and six. Okay, let's just make like, 20 a couple of times yeah we got plenty of time for that okay now we got our water we can go ahead and make the glue I keep forgetting to put the the fuel in all right so that's making our glue now and we have um, the iron making so I guess we can go ahead and we need mechanical parts and springs see look our springs are getting low okay um, I think I was looking at the wrong thing. No, we weren't. Okay. So we got our glue. We need five forged iron. I don't know that this will go into the shotgun. That would be awesome. But I think what I found was it would only go in the pistol. 
so I don't I don't know what to do about that. Um, it would be cool if it would go in a hunting rifle, so maybe we'll check that too, uh, because that's one of the reasons why I don't like the hunting rifle, because you have to reload every single shot. Awesome. Okay, that should be enough of the metal. Let's get what I'm missing. Oh, the glue. Ah, I forgot to get the glue. I forgot to get the glue. All right. Yeah, I think that's that's what I was thinking before. I think I had a magazine extender in another game and I, I wanted it for the shotgun because wouldn't that be awesome to have more than eight shots for your shotgun? Yes, it would. I'm telling you right now. It would be freaking awesome. But I don't think it would go in it and then I tried it like, oh, it'd be even more awesome to have more than 30 shots in my assault rifle and it wouldn't work for that but it did work in the pistol uh, so I don't know let's see what we can do with that okay um, what all do we need oh we need the same so five more mechanical parts ten more springs Oh man, my eye just started watering. Oh. Oh. I hope we get this done in time. 30 seconds. What? Okay. So let's go put the rest of this metal in there. We got this. Let's just turn it off. That's done. Oh, we still got plenty of time before the horde. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Mm. The coffee's already cold, <laughs> but it's still coffee, man. All right, so let's see. I want to see if the magazine extender will go. It will not go in there. If it if it will fit, this little gears, the little gears in the corner start blinking and they they turn green. So that will not go in there, unfortunately. Okay, so let's go put our hunting rifle away. Oh, what? I misplaced a thousand dirt. I put it in the wrong chest. Oh, that is awesome because I was like, where did all my dirt go? <laughs> okay, so let's let's put like a hundred or so in here. That should do us for a little while. this thing still going? No, it is not. Um, the bad thing, the good thing is we have the cement mixer. The bad thing is we don't have a lot of sand. So we might actually have to take some of this uh, stone and make it into sand before we can, um, let's just, can we do a thousand? No, it won't let us go. I think what you have to do is 999 and then bump it up one. There we go. So let's make a thousand sand and we'll use that for our cement. There we go. All right, let's test this out. I would like to put the magazine extender in there. 
Yeah, it's not going to go in there, but we can put this sawed off shotgun. Effective range one. So effective range three. Hmm. But it does bump the damage up. Um, we might save that for when we go out and about. Um, because we might actually use have to use this. <laughs> we only have 67 ammo, but we may need to use it uh, tonight. And we may need to use it at a higher range. So what's the difference between um, that range and this range? Effective range 50. Ah, so effective range 18. Wow, that's a huge difference. Uh, <laughs> so that's not going to cut down that much, I guess. I just don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, the lighting changed. It's getting it's getting ready. Oh my goodness. See, you would think that this one would be tier one. Because it's for a tool, but that is not so. Alright, so let's check. Oh, oh, you can put it in the AK. So we can extend the magazine. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it will increase the damage. Okay, let's see. Do Can we put it in the pistol as well? We can, but I would much prefer to put it in the AK. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That increases it to 45 from 30. So that's 50% more ammo in there. Huzzah. Okay. Um, and we got 15 rounds in there. Oh, yeah. Now, see, I don't think it it is as beneficial on the AK since the AK already holds 30. So it might actually be better to put it in the pistol. Except um, except that the fact that we're not going to be able to go through that much ammo with the pistols. That's why I have the extra one on me. Because uh, we're going to burn through the durability on that pistol before we run out of ammo. Uh, so what we'll want to do is, uh, I think it would be better for now to have it in our AK. Oh, look at that shotgun. Um, let's see, have we gotten any... Okay, I think, I think we need to, like, go through... I went through that one. That one was already used, so um, I think I've already gone through this one. Yeah. So I think I've already gone through all of the shotguns in here. Let's just double check just to make sure. I do that. Yeah, unfortunately, and all of these only hold, you know, one ammo at a time. So there we go. I can't believe that's all of my weaponry. Um, we might actually, since the pistols are yeah, we might actually carry this 9mm. Um, I just don't want to use do the extra damage to the AK, because that's the only one we have. But I guess it's just a repair kit, but it's only 22 rounds. 
I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. I'm trying to think, um, there's like a work and stiff tools down by O'Reilly's auto part uh, that would be nice to go and raid. Maybe it'll have like a nail gun for us or something, because the nail gun would be awesome to uh, work on the base to do the upgrades and to repair everything. That would be amazing. Okay, it's starting to get dark, so let's turn our light on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love how it looks. Uh, I was watching one of um, Joel's videos about the guns, and apparently having like a gun in your hotbar and holding it affects your movement speed. Like, how cool, like, the weapon that you're carrying affects your movement speed. So, say if I'm, like, carrying my hammer, it should be different than, like, if I'm carrying a pistol. Which makes sense, because if you're lugging this big old hammer around, it should be a little bit different than if you're only holding a pistol. Which I, I think that's, that's totally cool. Oh my god, a freaking screamer right before the horde. Okay. They usually go for these corners. Okay, we got her. Awesome. Let's go down and get my arrow back. Repair that up. They seem to be doing a lot more damage <laughs> to, like, I mean, the wood. They're just destroying. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know if that's, um, something that increases with like the game stage maybe it um uh, they do more damage as you progress which would be kind of cool but also terrifying <laughs> like you just get used to how much damage they're doing and then oh guess what they do more so that's no good so maybe we'll go ahead since we got like a second or two We'll go ahead and get our cement. And I think we also need stone. And we'll make up as much concrete mix as we can. What? Okay. Let's do like minus one because I forgot to put my placeholder in there. Oh yeah. Look at that. Making some cement. Put that back. I don't know why I need to carry these things on me, but I always find that if I put these base materials away, I always need them for something. And oh, dude, I completely forgot to queue up some more cement. Let's just do that. Awesome. Okay. Um, Yeah, I used up that iron in no time. A lot of it was done doing those iron bars. Each section of the wall was like 80 forged iron. So that was 320 iron right there just to do that one row of iron bars. But that should make it a little bit more difficult for them to break into there. And I don't really have any delusions about whether or not they're going to break into it. I know they are. I just want to slow them down. <laughs> I want them to... Uh, actually, I would prefer that they, they come out and they break 
these blocks. These blocks right here. Only these. I would prefer that they break those instead of these bars. Or actually, those bars are okay. The wooden ones. I'm okay with that. <laughs> but I don't want them to break these hallway uh, blocks. Because then that gives them you know easy access but then again if they break this they can just get through like that um, but next tour that's going to be different because I have some ideas to help uh, guide them <laughs> to the proper path of doom and destruction oh my god here it comes here it comes <sighs> all right what direction are they coming from? I don't see them. Oh, it's a dog. There it is. What? Oh, dude. Yeah, I'd prefer them to come over here, but it looks like they're coming to my corner. Yeah, I, would, I wasn't expecting them to, like, be drawn to that. Holy cow. That's, like, all they're doing. Ah! They're totally not doing what I thought they were going to do. Oh, we got... I completely forgot about skill points. Oh, look. They're totally being drawn to this corner. I think it's because I'm over here. Okay, she's dead. Why aren't you? Okay, there you are. Maybe if I come over here, they'll be drawn to the inside. Dance for me, zombies! There you go. Oh, they come through the hole. That's okay, because we don't really have spikes or traps in there. Is he dead? No. Now he is. It's nice to see that, um... I think not having that uh, um, that rung on the ladder, that bottom, they haven't even made a move to to go to the ladders. Man, it's like they're drawn to those spike traps. <laughs> I really thought it would do the opposite. I thought they would completely... I thought they would completely uh, ignore that whole wall because of the spikes, but it did the opposite. That's like all they're doing. They're like just like coming over. Oh look, here's a spot on the wall that has spikes in front of it. Let's do it. Let's let's hit the wall and hit the spikes. Oh. Is she dead? I think so. Oh, I hope that's a Hawaiian dude and not a cop. Oh no. Oh, 
that's a cop. Holy cow. Oh, where do you go? I'm so scared. It looks like he's dead. Okay, he must have been damaged from all the spikes. Because, uh, yeah. I hear another one. Oh my god. Look at that. They're like... Holy cow! Dudes! Dude, a barrel? I've killed that worker like 25 times. Oh no, they're on the they're on the structural block now. Look, look at all that. Man, these guys just won't die. Okay, they're dead now. I hear a cop. I'm scared. Oh, there he is! Okay. Luckily he had taken a lot of damage, I think. Man, I really... Oh! I did not see him. so lucky that he did not explode because these guys are doing a lot more damage this time. Oh yeah, look, there's a block over there that, you know, still has a spike in front of it. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, look! That cop destroyed one of my frames. Okay, let's put that back before I fall through it. Okay, this one has zero ammo left, and there we go. have almost no ammo of our 9mm left. Oh, we're out. Okay. Oh, holy crap. There's too many of them. Oh, how it's so easy to get multiple shots off on this thing. Oh, she was a feral. I need to make sure I save a little bit of ammo for cops. Hello 
Those guys are dead. Oh my goodness, look at all of them. <sighs> oh! Oh, you little... Oh! Scared the bejeebus out of me. I totally forgot about the... The vultures. Alright, I did notice that um, they did change. I see you. They did change where. Oh, they just killed my tree! Poor tree! Yeah, this is the one, the halls, we want them to come down. Because they're, they're going to be slowed. It's going to be easier to shoot them. Uh, that was a bug that we weren't using our stamina when, when we scope out on our uh, hunting rifles and stuff. Cause it it they do it does drain now. It does drain your stamina? Cause you have to like concentrate. Is it over? Are they done? I don't hear any more. Look, they killed two trees. Wow. Okay. They did quite a bit of damage, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and we're out of that ammo anyway. Get these guys. It's a little bit of experience. Didn't we have another one? We shot him while he was flying up. I have no idea where he went. Is it over this way? They did a lot of damage this time. Alright, so it, I don't hear any more uh, sounds. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to if it's supposed to end at midnight. Um, I'm kind of relieved because I did go through like all, I forgot I had the, the steel ammo there. I did go through all of that uh, 200 rounds and went through what, 100 or so 7.62 already. Wow. So let's get our materials to repair. Uh, most of it's going to be like cobblestone rocks, uh, but we also are going to have a lot of wood damage, I believe. I believe they did a lot of damage to those wood, wood blocks. Oh man. Okay, let's um let's put our little pistols away. Oh, I love the AK. I really want to I can't wait to actually get more um 
more ammo so I can actually start having some fun with those things. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get our tools back out. Um, we're going to take the chainsaw with this. Oh, we already have a repair kit, so I'll just leave that on there. Just in case uh, we see that the trees are ready to harvest. We've got a, a little bit of that stuff. Let's go ahead and off that. Oh, that was over here. Oh, we might need our metal back as well. To repair various metal objects. All right. I think uh, I think that should be good. So let's go have a look. This looks like a side they did not come from. <laughs> Here we see some damage over here. Uh, all of the spikes are gone except for the one that I accidentally misplaced. We got a little bit of damage over here, but no broken blocks. So I think this was one they uh, came to after. And this one's broken. This one's broken. This, this side wasn't too bad. They actually damaged uh, one of those blocks. I don't think they ever hit one of the... Oh, here's one. I think that might have been from earlier. No, it could have possibly been like cop damage. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just guessing. This is the funky block here. <laughs> I have no idea why that's like that. Uh, maybe it will fix itself when I log out and log back in. I don't know. The very, very little damage. Uh, even less damage done to like important structural stuff than the first one. So while we did get more damage to um, the wood this time um, we got like almost no damage to the structural blocks which is super fantastic because I'm I'm more worried about them uh, tearing my base down than I am of replacing wooden blocks oh look this side of the the, the base is ready to be harvested that's awesome. And they didn't go for the the ladders at all. So they weren't being drawn to that. It looks like uh, they weren't being drawn to it because of the hatch. It looks like they, uh, the, they were drawn to the ladders. So look at all of this. Awesome. So, <laughs> the, no structural blocks were broken whatsoever. So, that's pretty cool. That's really awesome. This is like the side with the most damage. they get that one block. Um, and another one way up there. Uh, it could have been cop's breath, I guess. So we did see, like, what, two or three cops? Yeah. Alright, let's go over this way. 
I was really worried about not having this part filled in. I'm going to try and get uh, all of the grounds around complete before the next horde. If, if they don't, you know, change something. Oh, here's another section of the wall where they just tore it up. Tore this whole section up. That's okay. Okay with that. We got tons of wood. Oh look! Oh no! They destroyed... They destroyed one of my, uh... Locks up there. I'll have to get the saw. I'll have to uh, make another one of those in the saw. I can't actually make that in my inventory. There we go. I accidentally upgraded. I was trying to like repair one of these. It's so hard to click on the right spot and I accidentally repaired the block underneath it. Pretty silly, huh? All right. Wow. So I was uh, really worried that they would, you know, target way more structural blocks than they did. I think all of this damage on the floor was from my shooting, not from the zombies. Let's go ahead and fill this one in too. So not too bad. I think it did all right. Oh no, I did the thing. too bad at all. I think we did super fantabulous. I don't know if maybe they designed it to where the first couple of hordes they they stop at midnight or it, if that like increases with your game stage. I don't know. I would um, be curious to know because it's good to, to, to know whether or not to plan uh, that it's going to be over at midnight or if it's going to continue. So, yeah, that's, uh, they, I'm really shocked that I thought they would go around because it was lined with spikes and <laughs> they actually, okay, I think we, we repaired, we got to the sections that they didn't hit. Here's our funky block. We started over there. So they didn't even touch these walls. They didn't hardly ver get into the the inner circle at all. So that's interesting. Huh. Um, I kind of don't like uh, it's nice to see that they are drawn to those ladders, not the hatches, because they not one of them went to this inner wall. Hardly any damage was done to this inner wall. They were all the hallways, which I'm okay with that because those hallways aren't, if they completely destroy the hallways, I can still shoot at them, I can still stand up here safely, uh, so that is, I'm okay with that, that was awesome, okay, we did it, we survived, <laughs> we're ready for a new day, um, we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here, I'm gonna go around, uh, chop down the trees that are ready, use my little, uh, chainsaw there. I probably need to get some more gas on me. I'll probably continue feeding that forge to make some more cement. Um, I don't know if I need it. Uh, it'll probably be good to have the, the structural blocks on the hallways upgraded as well so that 
in the off chance that we do get a cop, he does explode, it'll be less likely to be broken. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.